But sometimes travel is not the goal. Sometimes it pays to park. Welcome to a Lagrange point. This one, L1 in space speak, denotes a relative position between the Earth and the Sun, where the gravitational pull of each object is in approximate balance. These so-called halo orbits around L1 make good places for hovering spacecraft to take observations of either the Earth or Sun. We find a number of observatories patrolling out here, including an extremely famous and extremely successful solar observatory called SOHO. Notice how L1 exists well in front of the magnetosphere. This part of the solar system is fully bathed in the solar wind, without the protection of Earth's magnetic shield. Therefore, it's extremely useful for studying solar activity without interference from the Earth. Let's briefly revisit the area around the Earth. Simulated time slows again as the distance between objects shrinks. But as we once again approach our home, you'll notice the calendar has advanced two years. New satellites have entered the dance, including the five Themis vehicles. The near-Earth fleet of satellites swarms like bees around a hive, some ranging out beyond the magnetosphere, some well inside. It's provocative to consider that all this activity takes place in space, something we generally perceive as empty. But what we find instead, from light to charged particles to magnetic fields, demonstrates a strange and wonderful solar vitality. In fact, there's a particular scientific discipline that describes the study of these things. It's heliophysics, from the Greek word for sun combined with the word used to describe the study of matter and energy. Heliophysics studies how the sun's sphere of influence interacts with planets and the interstellar medium, the barely tangible stuff that fills what we typically regard as empty space. Almost done, but we've got to get moving if we're going to see the full extent of the sun's influence. Pulling way, way back, Earth's magnetosphere effectively disappears. Almost all of our solar observing fleet shrinks like boats on the horizon. Almost, but not all.